New from Sage is the Sage R8. This replaces the X and I thought it would have been really funny to put a G in front of this thing to make it great, but my staff told me that my dad jokes aren't funny and so I'm gonna take their advice and I'm gonna make no mention of any of my hilarious, I mean great jokes right here. Joking aside, the R8 feels light in hand, very responsive. It is a joy to cast. It casts in close, casts far, very accurate. Uh, nearly everyone loved the Sage X and this feels like an upgraded X. Maybe even a little easier to cast than the X was for beginners. The components on the rod look really great and this thing's gonna be exceptional not only for trout fishing but on the waters of Puget Sound as well. And we had the opportunity to cast six different rods from the R8 family. We got to cast the nine foot four weight, five weight and six weight with the Rio Gold Elite. The Rio Gold Elite makes every rod feel, feel really good, but R8, we really liked the four. We absolutely loved the five and the six with the fighting butt was amazing. It's gonna be a great rod for Puget Sound. Speaking of Puget Sound, the nine and a half foot six weight is the most common sold configuration for Puget Sound that we sell. And we got to try this rod with two different lines, the Rio Grand Elite, as well as the Rio Outbound Short. That Rio Outbound Short can be a pretty heavy line on a lot of different rods. And even though this rod felt so light, it still handled that heavier line. I think with the Grand, it was fine, but I really liked the gold. Just the feel of this rod really comes to life with that lighter trout line. We also got to cast a nine foot seven weight with a Rio Bonefish Elite, and that rod was absolutely incredible. That line on that rod matched up so beautifully. I loved casting that thing. And then just for fun, we threw an eight weight gold on the nine foot eight weight. So for trout fishing, the four weight, the five weight, six weight, these things are going to be absolutely incredible for fishing anywhere trout are found. For Puget Sound, that nine foot with the fighting butt or the nine and a half with the fighting butt were just silky smooth and are gonna be a joy to fish out on the salt. Now they don't really advertise these rods as being made for salt water, but with the corrosion resistant uh, components that are on these rods, that seven weight or that eight weight would be amazing for bonefish. The rod series only goes up to a nine weight at this point. And so if you're looking for a heavier duty rod, I think go into a salt HD or a Maverick or something else that's more designed for that would be a better choice. But for everything else, three to nine weight, this rod is just sweet. Okay, who's gonna get the most out of this rod? I think with intermediate anglers that are aspiring to be a better angler, they're gonna immediately level up with this rod. I think experienced anglers that have fished a lot of different stuff might see some performance upgrade, but more than that, they're gonna really appreciate the efficiency and the feel. I rate the fun factor with this rod very high. I've casted plenty of high performing rods in the past that performed incredibly, but when it came to actually hooking and playing fish, they left a lot to be desired. And my initial impression casting these rods is that Sage has married performance and fun beautifully. If you're in the market for a new rod, I would not hesitate with buying this rod. This is a great rod to purchase. You can get them from us. We have them in stock. Links are down in the description below. You will not regret it. Are you thinking about getting an R8? Let us know in the comments below what you're thinking about getting. If you thought this video was great, give it a like and thumbs up. Make sure you check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on all the things we have going on.